Question 1. What can we do to improve the performance of Informatica aggregator transformation? Answer. Aggregator performance improves dramatically if records are sorted before passing to the aggregator and sorted input option under aggregator properties is checked. The record set should be sorted on those columns that are used in group by operation. It is often a good idea to sort the record set in database level e.g. inside a source qualifier transformation unless there is a chance that already sorted records from source qualifier can again become unsorted before reaching aggregator. Question 2. How to delete duplicate row using Informatica? Answer. Assuming that the source system is a relational database to eliminate duplicate records, we can check the distinct option of the source qualifier of the source table and load the target accordingly. Question 3. What are the different lookup cache? Answer. Lookups can be cached or uncached. No cache. Cached lookup can be either static or dynamic. A static cache is one which does not modify the cache once it is built and it remains same during the session run. On the other hand, a dynamic cache is refreshed during the session run by inserting or updating the records in cache based on the incoming source data. A lookup cache can also be divided as persistent or non-persistent based on whether it Informatica retains the cache even after session run is complete or not respectively. Question 4. How can we update a record in target table without using update strategy? Answer. A target table can be updated without using update strategy. For this, we need to define the key in the target table in Informatica level and then we need to connect the key and the field we want to update in the mapping target. In the session level, we should set the target property as update as update and check the update checkbox. Question 5. What type of repositories can be created using Informatica Repository Manager? Answer. Informatica PowerCenter included its following type of repositories. Standalone repository, a repository that functions individually and this is unrelated to any other repositories. Global repository, this is a centralized repository in a domain. This repository can contain shared objects across the repositories in a domain. The objects are shared through global shortcuts. Local repository. Local repository is within a domain and it's not a global repository. Local repository can connect to a global repository using global shortcuts and can use objects in its shared folders. Version repository. This can either be local or global repository but it allows version control for the repository. A version repository can store multiple copies or versions of an object. This features allows to efficiently develop, test and deploy metadata in the production environment. Question 6. What is a code page? Answer. A code page contains encoding to specify characters in a set of one or more languages. The code page is selected based on source of the data. For example if source contains Japanese text then the code page should be selected to support Japanese text. When a code page is chosen, the program or application for which the code page is set, refers to a specific set of data that describes the characters the application recognizes. This influences the way that application stores, receives, and sends character data. 7. Which all databases PowerCenter server on Windows can connect to? Answer. PowerCenter server on Windows can connect to following databases, IBM DB2, Informix, Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, Sybase, Teradata. Question 8. Which all databases PowerCenter server on Unix can connect to? Answer. PowerCenter server on Unix can connect to following databases, IBM DB2, Informax, Oracle, Sybase, Teradata. Question 9. Explain use of update strategy transformation. Answer. To flag source records as insert, delete, update or reject for target database. Default flag as insert. This is must for incremental data loading. This is the important transformation, is used to maintain the history data or just most recent changes into the target table. We can set or flag the records by using these two levels. Within a session, when you configure the session, you can instruct the Informatica server to identify either treat all the records in the same way. Within a mapping, within a mapping we use update strategy transformation to flag the records like insert, update, delete or reject. Question 10. What are the measure objects? Answer. Aggregate calculation like sum, avg, max, min these are the measure objects. 
Question 11. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of star and snowflake schema. Answer. In a star schema there is no relation between any two dimension tables, whereas in a snowflake schema there is a possible relation between the dimension tables. In star schema there is no relationship between two relational tables. All dimensions are denormalized and query performance is degrades. In this snowflake schema dimensions are normalized. In this SF schema table space is increased. Maintenance cost is high. Query performance is increased. Question 12. What is the method of loading five flat files of having same structure to a single target and which transformations I can use? Answer. Two methods. Write all files in one directory then use file repository concept. Don't forget to type source file type as indirect in the session. Use union tr to combine multiple input files into a single target. Question 13. Compare data warehousing top-down approach with bottom-up approach. Answer. Top-down ODS to ETL to data warehouse to data mart to OLAP. Bottom-up ODS to ETL to data mart to data warehouse to OLAP. Question 14. Why we use partitioning the session in Informatica? Answer. Performance can be improved by processing data in parallel in a single session by creating multiple partitions of the pipeline. Informatica server can achieve high performance by partitioning the pipeline and performing the extract, transformation, and load for each partition in parallel. Question 15. What is the router transformation? Answer. A router transformation is similar to a filter transformation because both transformations allow you to use a condition to test data. However, a filter transformation tests data for one condition and drops the rows of data that do not meet the condition. A router transformation tests data for one or more conditions and gives you the option to root rows of data that do not meet any of the conditions to a default output group. Question 16. How do you create a mapping using multiple lookup transformation? Answer. Use unconnected lookup if same lookup repeats multiple times. Question 17. Difference between summary filter and details filter? Answer. Summary filter. We can apply records group by that contain common values. Detail filter. We can apply to each and every record in a database. Question 18. How can you create or import flat file definition into the warehouse designer? Answer. You cannot create or import flat file definition into warehouse designer directly. Instead you must analyze the file in source analyzer, then drag it into the warehouse designer. When you drag the flat file source definition into warehouse designer workspace, the warehouse designer creates a relational target definition not a file definition. If you want to load to a file, configure the session to write to a flat file. When the Informatica server runs the session, it creates and loads the flat file. Question 19. Is a fact table normalized or denormalized? Answer. A fact table is always denormalized table. It consists of data from dimension table, primary keys, and fact table has foreign keys and measures. Question 20. Explain about Informatica Server Architecture. Answer. Informatica Server, Load Managers, Data Transfer Manager, Reader, Temp Server and Writer are the components of Informatica Server. First Load Manager sends a request to the reader if the reader is ready to read the data from source and dump into the Temp Server and Data Transfer Manager manages the load and it sends the request to Writer as per first in first out process and Writer takes the data from Temp Server and loads it into the target. Good.